with a um, job lot of games um, a while ago um, if I just select the language here to get us all set up um, picked up this uh, Sega Flash Volume 3 I don't know whether it just came as a disc um, or what but yeah, um, I'm not sure whether I've ever even put this in and uh, played it. You'll have to excuse my satin here, the battery is flat. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in. I um, have to give it a wipe first because it looks a bit uh, a bit grubby. But uh, the disc looks fine, it's just got some shit on it. So just wiping it off and then uh, bang it in and then hopefully it should be fine. And we'll have a look at what's on it. It does say on the front of the disc what is on it, but uh, I'm not really interested in that. I want to see what's on it for myself. So, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, I'm not sure whether these were like Sega's own uh, demo discs or they came with a magazine um, or what. So we're going to start off with Daytona Champion Circuit Edition um, and I've got the original Daytona for the Saturn and it plays horrendously, the frame rate is shocking so hopefully this uh, demo will be of a, a fixed version variation. Yeah, come on. Daytona, yeah. Alright, so straight into the game, no menus to fuck about with. And here we go. It seems smoother than uh, the original Daytona. That was jerky, uh, smoother frame rate. Um, draw distance is still pretty crap, um, but it's playable, uh, zips along nicely. I can't remember how you get it sideways, the old cornering C button it looks like. So yeah, overall, um, it's, it's a lot better than uh, the original Daytona. At some point I will be uh, picking up the full game of this. Um, but like I say, I've never put this disc in. So uh, just thought I'd put it in and uh, see what it's all about. Change the view there. Move the, uh, the top buttons. Oh look, got a nice uh, inside cockpit view, you can hear the engine purring away nicely, nice big crash there. Straight up uh, first person view. Don't know if there's any sort of uh, shortcut, yeah it looks like there is, press all the buttons to uh, exit to the menu and uh, we'll see what else there is so it's got Tomb Raider and Worldwide Soccer 97 on there but I own those two games so I'm not going to bother um, playing them and then the rest are all uh, videos so uh, what we'll do is we'll play a bit of Virtua on and we'll start the game. If you want to see gameplay of um, Tomb Raider and uh, World Wide Soccer 97 there are uh, videos on my channel for both of them so um, that's the reason why I'm glossing over them, or well, not even glossing over them, just skipping them out completely. 
Um, as I say, if you want to see uh, gameplay footage of them games, then there's uh, videos for the full games on my channel. Check them out. Right, so a bit of virtual on. A game that was originally an arcade game with like a cabinet with control sticks and shit on it. Um, and you can actually get a kind of control stick um, set for the Saturn. Um, probably pretty rare nowadays. It, it, I remember it being pretty uh, pretty pricey back in the day. Um, I don't know what virtual, virtual on is. It's uh, kind of one-on-one -on -one, um, robot fighting game where you're sort of in 3D arenas. Um, pretty cool. Um, kind of game I imagine there's quite a, a cool following for it. Um, I'm <laughs> struggling a bit with controls here. Um, Probably a game that is uh, better played with the uh, control stick. Not sure how uh, I managed to win there. Throwing out some beams from the sword there. Yeah, and smashing the dude up to pieces. So, yeah, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty confusing game to begin with. I, I think it, um, there's quite a lot of depth to, to this game uh, once you do know how to play it. Um, but luckily, the uh, Difficulty of the game isn't uh, too taxing. Saying that, I, I have just been killed. So probably ignore that comment. But uh, I did manage to kill someone the first time. Round three. Get ready. Uh, not doing too uh, too well this time. Up at this game, I think. I'm sure I'll be ace with uh, a bit more training. Just the same as um, Daytona Championship, Championship Circuit Edition. Um, I will be picking this game up at some point, obviously, going for the, uh, the full Saturn collection. Um, I've just not got quite got around to it yet but um, obviously definitely a game I want to pick up um, and this game you know playing this demo um, just reiterates why you know it's a nice vibrant game um, and uh, runs very smoothly so uh, can't wait to pick that one up really we'll just have a look um, at what videos they are but I won't put any videos on um, Possibly I'll upload them at a later date. They know their full glory when I've got some sort of better capture device. Um, or a capture device, should I say. So, Bug 2, um, I've got the original Bug, uh, American version. A pretty cool game. Fighting Vipers, um, again, a game that I've got. So, if you want to see a, a full video on that game, then uh, check it out on my channel. It's a cool game. Uh, Virgicopter, another game I've got, um, another cool game, so uh, yeah, Knights, um, a game I'll be picking up at some point, hopefully uh, I want to pick up the 3D controller for the Saturn as well, Dark Saviour, um, don't really know much about this one, it's like some, court, some sort of action uh, RPG, looks pretty cool actually, so I might have to check that out. Um, Mr. Bones is quite a rare game, I believe. 
um, costs quite a bit to pick up so uh, that'll be one of the uh, sort of last titles that I'll pick up along with uh, games like you know Panzer Dragoon Saga so that is Sega Flash Volume 3 um, just something in my collection that I've never put in um, so I thought I'd put it in and uh, just show you guys what it's all about and uh, if you're into collecting demos then uh, you probably found this video not very interesting because all my videos are shit <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye